So uh, earlier this morning, um, an employee spotted a, a gentleman on campus uh, with a weapon. She did exactly what we've asked all, all of our employees and students to do. If you see something, say something. She alerted campus police. Campus police uh, immediately issued a rave alert, which uh, placed the university on lockdown for students, faculty, staff, visitors. At that time, we began our investigation into uh, exactly what was happening. And I'm pleased to say today that everything worked out exactly uh, like it should have. The employee saw something, she said something, we locked the university down, we immediately made contact with our partners, that's the Orangeburg Sheriff's Department as well as the City of Orangeburg Department of Public Safety. They responded to campus and then after further investigation, we were able to ascertain that the weapon um, was a fake wooden weapon used by our ROTC department here. So it was a, uh, a dummy weapon. Uh, nonetheless, I certainly understand the, the employee concern because at that point, she certainly did not know it was a fake weapon. And we certainly did not lift uh, this lockdown until we were sure that there was no threat to the university or its uh, stakeholders. Yeah. It's a wooden rifle. It, it um, it's about, costs about $50. Every ROTC department in, you know, in the country uses these for their drill teams. Um, the Citadel West Point um, is a very, uh, very common um, training aid at any ROTC department. However, for the non-military person to see this, uh, they would certainly uh, think that it's a, a real weapon. I certainly understand that. Absolutely. Very proud of, of our employee this morning. Very proud of our, our students and our, our leaders who, who understand um, the nature of, of the environment that we live in today, given all of the gun violence throughout the country, given the deaths of the four students at the University of Idaho um, you know, this past month. So certainly um, we had great cause to, to be concerned. And back to your question, you know, as you know, South Carolina State University has one of the greatest ROTC programs in the world um, with 23 different general officers. I'm hoping that young cadet will learn his lessons um, and realize uh, that he made a mistake that he probably should not have been carrying the weapon the way that he was, and hopefully one day uh, become a general officer from South Carolina State University. So we use the Rave Alert app, so that's just kind of our new way. We get a text on our phone whenever anything like this happens. It's kind of a way to make sure that everybody's in the loop about any safety or issues on campus. So we all got a text, um, anyone who has a Rave app, which is all students, we all got a text immediately um, that we're on lockdown. So we're just kind of, okay, everybody, let's wait and let's make sure. I think this, it's sad to say, but Gen Z, we're used to things like this. We are used to active violence and shooter drills and all of that. So yeah, so usually if we didn't have the app, I would have been scared, but having access to the app really, I really recommend the Rave app. Having access to that really eased everyone's mind. And we're all in a student group chat called GroupMe. So everyone's just texting, making sure everybody's okay in the group me. so.